Vortex has its main boiler system here. So you've got your, your burner down there, your combustion chamber in here. Basically what a combi boiler does is instead of having a, a heating system with a big tank and maybe an indirect coil through it or a uh, heating element inside, a combi boiler heats up the water directly using this bit here. This is a plate heat exchanger. Let's just have a very quick look at plate heat exchanger and what it does. Now a plate heat exchanger has a very high heat recovery which means it can transfer heat from one body of water to another very quickly, almost in real time. That's very important when being installed and used in a combi boiler. We imagine we have the boiler here pumping heated hot water out into our heat exchanger here. It cools round through the heat exchanger and then back to the boiler to be reheated. Now we have our cold main in. This picks up water doesn't mix with anything else, doesn't mix with the heated water from the boiler and is heated up and picks heat up and goes off to the hot taps. That's how a plate heat exchanger works. So, say when you open up your tap, there's a, a dabble pressure switch, which is like a paddle. When it feels the water go through, it clicks, turns the boiler and this little pump on down here. When that pump comes on, it drags hot water from the burner, right, this is hot water that you don't wash in, okay, drags it through, through this 35 litre heat store and then through the coil in your heat exchanger and then back to the boiler. As cold water enters from the, from the main, this is the water you're washing, it picks up heat through this plate heat exchanger, it's got a very high heat recovery rate, and that goes off out to your taps, uh, really, really hot, and basically that's how a combi boiler works. I just wanted to show you the two different routes that the two bodies of water take. Let's have a quick look. You have your cold water, it comes in here, goes through an isolating valve so we can switch it on and off. Now this is the pressure switch here, all that is is a small paddle. Imagine your light switch, but instead of your finger pushing the light switch, it's the flow of water going over a small paddle. So the paddle clicks and turns the boiler on. We come down, down here, through into the heat exchanger where it gets all heated up and hot. Comes out through here, it's hot water, goes through this mixer and then up here and off to your taps. Also you have another, the cold water supply does tea and comes through here, so you can basically adjust this and give that a certain type of heat. Now let's look at where the heating water goes. The heating water comes out the top of the boiler here. Now it can either tee off to the heating system this way or into our heat exchanger. It comes down into the pump, pumped into the bottom of the 35 litre heat store and then it comes out of the heat store at the top here, goes through the plate heat exchanger, goes back out from the boiler into the return of the boiler just like that. It is worth pointing out that 35 litre heat stores aren't always in commie boilers. For instance, most gas boilers don't have a 35 litre heat store, or heat store at all. Their heat recovery is so good, they can heat up hot water as it's needed without that heat store there. The basic advantages of having a combi boiler are, you don't have to heat up large amounts of water, only a 35 litre heat store, whereas most hot water tanks are looking at at least 100 litres worth of water. So basically that's how a combi boiler works, I hope that's helped. Um, if you think we've missed anything or you want to know any more or anything like that, uh, let us know. And as ever, subscribe to our videos. All right, have a wicked great time and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks very much. Bye. Plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Sponsored by heatandplum.com. Plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Sponsored by heatandplum.com. Hello and welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. This video is basically a brief description of combi boiler systems and the difference between them and tank fed systems. Today we're using a Grant Vortex boiler to describe how a combi system works. The Grant